Oh, well. Hey, something in Northside just erupted, and apparently it's got Maelstromer's hauling ass out of there. See what's going on exactly and let me know.
Pete, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. Before he gets. What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. Okay, uh, pulling up by one frame. Augmenting pain feedback and ferrous aftertaste. Freddy boy, you're a natural. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. What, what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. 
Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. We got a little family out. affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you, you want to see something really hard for Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. XBD of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch with boys. No clue who their daddies are. I'm gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit writer on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa, I think I know the one she wants. BD-9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure for everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections, N not who makes them. Had enough of you two. I'll find it myself. Okay. Shut up! You speak, you die. That, that's it. That, that's the one. Just, just take it. We, I won't tell anyone you're here. We swear. Aren't you a little young to run a business? Someone in the family's gotta be the scop winner. I can count, and I've got good hands. All you need. Cooking up anything good today? I don't deal in anything less. Gotta respect yourself and your customers, too. This arm, it is not mine! None of this me! Cold, dead metal! All of it! What? What have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa? It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> Forget your own soul. You must save his. What happened? Help! Your implants, Stop. they look half done. Done or not done. It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. 
They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Just this once. Please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. Do this! Implantations against my beliefs! Please! I do not want them! down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not but the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters 
is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath, and then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. To our chat. Let's not draw this out. What happened? Did you find my brother? Of course I found him. He's safe and sound, just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. <laughs> <laughs> 